everyone, and welcome to Catapult Downtown. My name is James Mewitt. I'm one of your local gaming gurus. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about a bluffing game that is two to six players, where the only way to win is to make your friends cry. Yes, I am talking about Coup. Begin the game by dealing each player two cards. These are called your influence cards, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just call them your character ability slash life point cards. Also, remember to deal each player two coins to begin the game. Each player has a choice of four different actions on their turn. They can either use a character ability, which we'll get to in a bit, or they can draw one coin from the pot, two coins if they elect to use foreign aid, or they can coup someone if they have seven or more coins. Uh, it should be noted also that if you have ten or more coins, you must coup somebody. A coup is when a player chooses to spend seven coins in order to make another player of their choice in the game lose one of their life cards. All right, I said I'd talk about character cards, so let's start with the Duke. The Duke is a card which allows you to take three coins from the bank, which is very powerful if you consider that's almost half a coup. Uh, also, the Duke allows you to block foreign aid, so that's another kind of frustrating factor of this card. Next up, we have the Ambassador. The Ambassador is a card which allows you to take two cards from the deck so that you'll have a total of four in your hand. From this point, you have options. You can keep the same two cards that you had and put the other two back, or you can choose two new cards or keep a one card and pick a new one. It's totally up to you. After though, you put the two cards that you do not select back into the deck and reshuffle. It should be noted also that the Ambassador can block captains if someone's trying to steal from you, so it also has a defensive aspect. There's also the Contessa, which is a defensive card that you play when someone has chosen to assassinate you. Uh, all you do is say that I have a Contessa in my hand and this blocks the assassination. Then there's the Assassin. This card is real simple. You pay three to the bank, you select a player of your choice, and that player immediately loses one of their life cards, unless they have a Contessa. Finally, there is the Captain card, which is both an offensive and a defensive card. Uh, what this means is that uh, when you have the Captain, you can steal two coins from any player of your choice, which is really nice, but the catch is if they also have a Captain, they can block this stealing, or if they have an Ambassador, they can block this stealing. Okay, so I've explained the basic rules and components of this game, but I can't end this video without highlighting one of the most important facets of this game, and that is lying. Who's a bluffing game? So that means even if you're dealt two Contessas, which is really awful, you can still pretend like you have a Duke and an Ambassador, or any other card that you can think of. As relativistic as this sounds, Ku lets you be whoever you want to be. So exploit that, but just remember that there's a price with that bluffing. If someone calls you when you're bluffing, you must instantly lose a life. So don't bluff unless you think you can get away with it. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. If you guys want to play Coup or any of the other games we have here at Catapult Downtown, make sure to come each Wednesday at 6 p.m. Bring a friend, bring your A game, and if you're playing Coup, bring your poker face. And remember, RSVP if you want free pizza.